If you were to go by Samsung's marketing material on the new Galaxy M30s, you'd probably think that you've purchased a monster of a device. But even though it doesn't even come close to most of the big boys in the market, the phone does punch well over its weight when you factor in the competitive pricing. Not only does the device pack in some impressive hardware, it even excels on the software front featuring Samsung's One UI skin based on Android 9 Pie. Now, while the software experience has come a long way since the TouchWiz days, it still doesn't offer absolutely everything you'd want. Thankfully, most of its shortcomings can be addressed by downloading some really cool apps from the Play Store. And that's exactly what we are going to talk about today in this video. Hey guys, this is Abhijit from Guiding Tech and let's get right to it, shall we? So as I mentioned, the device comes with Samsung's new One UI and even though it's significantly better than the company's older Android skin, I am personally not a huge fan. I always incline more towards the stock Android look and feel, which is why a great third-party launcher is an absolute must-have if you ask me. So if you're in the same league, then I'd recommend that you get the customized Pixel Launcher right away. The app is essentially a fork of the rootless Pixel Launcher, which offers a Pixel-like experience on any Android device, along with a couple of cool customization options. You get access to the same clean and minimal UI, the Google News feed to the left, and the ability to completely change the look and feel of your phone using custom themes or icon packs. I tend to leave it just as it is, but it's great to have that option anyway. Now, while I'm not too big on changing the icon pack or theme on my phone, I do like to use custom wallpapers. And since the M30s packs in an S AMOLED display, I've been rocking dark AMOLED friendly backgrounds that not only look good, but also help me get most battery life out of the phone. And if you want similar wallpapers on your phone, then you should definitely get the AMOLED wallpapers app, which features a stunning collection of dark 4K wallpapers. If you're not entirely sure how using a dark wallpaper will help you save some battery, then allow me to explain. You see, AMOLED displays, unlike LCDs, don't illuminate pixels whenever they are displaying the color black. So, if you use a dark wallpaper, you can effectively reduce battery consumption by up to 15%. Isn't that cool? Next up, we have the One Handy Browser, which is a great browser replacement for the one included on your device, specifically because it's designed for easy one-handed use. And since the M30s is a bit on the chunkier side, it's something you should seriously consider. The One Handy Browser or the Oh Browser for short has all its UI elements located close to the bottom of the display which means that you can reach everything with just your thumb. And in case you're on a website that has its buttons on the top, you can just tap on the hand icon to automatically bring it down. Definitely quite handy, right? And it's not just the stock browser that doesn't live up to my expectations. I am not a big fan of the stock file manager either. One of the main reasons I use Solid Explorer on most of my devices is that it allows you to open two browser panels at the same time. This makes transferring files as simple as dragging them from one folder and dropping them into another. No copy pasting required. On top of that, the app also has a bunch of different sorting and viewing options that you can use to customize how you see all the content in your phone's internal storage. The side panel on the app is also pretty neat and you can use it to quickly jump between folders, compress or archive files, transfer them via FTP and much more. If you've got a lot of offline media on your phone, then having solid explore on your phone will surely help you save a lot of time organizing it. Speaking of offline media, do you listen to offline songs or watch videos on your phone? If you're nodding your head in agreement, then these next two apps are for you. First, there's the Pi Music Player, which offers a built-in five-band equalizer and enhanced folder view, a nifty sharing feature to help you transfer songs from one phone to another, an audiobook and podcast player, and top of all that, it even lets you play music directly from YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, if you want to watch offline videos on your phone, you'll need to get KM Player. The app includes support for almost all popular media forms formats out of the box and you also get support for subtitles along with a bunch of handy features like speed control and night mode. You can also use it to seamlessly play 4K HDR videos but for that you'll first need to download a custom Kodak which you can find linked in the description down below. Now if you're more into making videos than watching videos then you'll definitely need a capable video editor and GoPro's quick app is just that. App lets you easily string together a bunch of photos to make cool clips and add unique transitions and graphics to them. Quick, which is spelled as Q-U-I-K, offers 23 impressive themes packed with a variety of transitions and graphics to help you spruce up your videos. 
Now, if you have watched any of our app recommendation videos before, you would already know that there are two apps that we absolutely and definitely include in every damn list, and that's Snapseed and SMS Organizer. These apps are must-haves for any Android user, and if you haven't downloaded them already, you should do that right away. While I'm sure most of you would already be familiar with these apps, for those of you who aren't, here's a brief rundown. Snapseed is an amazing image editor from Google that packs in pretty much all. All the tools you'd ever need to take your mobile photos to the next level. Sure, the tools may seem a bit intimidating for new users, but we have got a great selection of tutorials on our website that will help you figure out. The links will be in below, or you could go to guidingtech.com and search for Snapseed in our search bar. SMS Organizer, on the other hand, is a great alternative to the stock messaging app that will completely change the way you manage your SMS inbox. As its name suggests, the app organizes all your incoming text messages into different folders based on their content and prevents unnecessary spam from cluttering up your inbox. Well, that wraps it up for this video. As always, you'll find links to all the apps mentioned in the description down below. Don't forget to hit the like button if you discovered some new apps today and do share your favorite apps with us in the comments below. This is Abhijit signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.